Hey everyone, so living in our tab 400 full time, one of our most frequently asked questions is how we eat. <laughs> I know it seems funny, but a lot of people assume that because we live on the road, we must eat out all the time. And while we do eat out more often than we would like, especially during events and workshops, when we get the chance to stay at home and cook, we love it. That being said, one of the biggest upgrades from Rocky R320 to Little Bear the 400 is this awesome kitchen. We have so much more counter space and just room to move than we used to in the 320. Now that we've been in Little Bear for almost nine months, I wanted to share some of my favorite kitchen accessories, gadgets, must-haves. First, let's start with cookware. Number one in any camping situation has got to be cast iron pans. Now the number one brand in cast iron pans you're gonna find is Lodge. Personally, we have two types of pans. We have a flat bottom 10 inch skillet, and we also have one with grill lines. And last but not least, we have an adorable mini Dutch oven. They make these a lot bigger, but we're kind of limited on space, so we really like the small size. Some of our favorite meals to do in our cast iron. If we're outside, we like to put a nice pork tenderloin or steak over the fire. And if we're inside, well, I mean, there's always bacon, whether you're inside or outside, or a nice stir fry veggie, especially Brussels sprouts. Mmm, so good. Now I happen to have an old cover for a casserole dish that I wasn't using, and I found it perfect to nest my pans in with a simple towel in between them to store them when we travel. Voila! Lodge also makes these really great little scraping utensils, a flat one for the flat bottom, and then one with ridges for those that grill pan. All right, next up, I wanna talk about the pots and pans that we use literally every day to boil water and to cook just our very basic, simple things. For that, we've decided to use an MSR kit that was actually made for backpacking. Because of that, it's very small, it nests into one little kit, and it's really lightweight. Inside, you find we have a lid, we have two sizes of pots, and a small pan. All of these are non-stick, so they work really great for all the things like eggs. We also boil water in it every single day for coffee. So this is definitely our go-to pan. And when we are not driving, when we're just camping and storing it somewhere, because we use it every day, we don't want to put it away every day. And it fits just perfect uh, right above the cabinet here. So it slides up there really nice. And then it has a little travel case for when we want to travel. Next up is something you might remember from me featuring in one of my previous videos. I saw this at an expo and I got so excited because the one thing I really miss doing in my kitchen is baking because we don't have an oven. So I found the Omnia stovetop oven. That's right, it is an oven for your propane stove. So this is a product made in Sweden and the way it works is that you pretty much have a bunt pan, but it sits on top of a spacer. And that's gonna help keep anything from burning on the bottom. But because it's got the hole in the middle, like a normal bunt pan, and this lid that sits on top, all of that heat goes up from the middle and it comes down and it cooks the top of whatever you're cooking as well. In addition to that, it comes with a little muffin insert. It comes with a grill if you want to do veggies, and it comes with some silicone liners that just really help keep everything clean and easy and non-stick. Of course, Kendrick insisted that the first thing I tried cooking in this was biscuits and gravy, and I have to admit, they came out amazing. The second thing I wanted to try was pizza, but not just any pizza. So I basically made a round shaped calzone, kind of the shape of the pan, and I have to admit, everyone was a fan of it. And then finally, just last night, I actually took my first stab at brownies. I admit I may have used a box of brownies because I was kind of lazy, but nonetheless, they cooked through perfect. On a side note, one accessory I never thought I would own in a trailer came because I got the Omnia oven and I wanted to experiment with baking. And so, of course, I finally had to break down and buy myself a rolling pin. The great thing about rolling pins is you can hang them anywhere. So I just used a little 3M hook to stick it up here and there hangs my rolling pin. And now 
I am a baker. Crazy, huh? Now while we have our everyday pots and pans, they are small and convenient, but they can also be a little bit limiting. So we do allow space for one big item. A giant pot. Kendrick likes to make huge batches of stews and uh, I think he made chicken curry last. And I'm a really big fan of making chili. So this is definitely the pot we use when we're gonna have guests over or when we just want some leftovers. Believe it or not, all of this stuff that you see here nests together in such a way that we can fit all of it very neatly on the bottom shelf only of the round cabinet under the sink in the 400. Now while I am showing you today all of the things that Kendrick and I have found work best for us, there are a few honorable mentions out there that we've elected not to buy but might work for you. First, there is always the Instapot. Apparently, these make very quick, delicious meals. Ice makers are very useful, especially if you like a cocktail at night. And of course, there's always the toaster oven, which serves dual purpose, especially for breakfast. Now, the reasons we've chosen not to carry those items are one, because they're a little big and bulky and only serve about one purpose. And two, we try to keep everything we have as dry camp friendly as possible, which means sticking to things that work with propane and not electricity. All right, next, we get to talk about one of my favorite subjects, coffee. I am one of those people who has to have coffee in the morning if you want me to be a normal human being. So first, let's talk about some of the options we have. In my research of all things coffee, I have come across the Chemex, the Bialetti, a regular percolator, Keurig machines, a regular old electric coffee pot, the AeroPress, and the French press. Now, every one of these methods has its pros and cons, but eliminating anything breakable and anything that requires electricity, Kendrick and I both agreed upon our favorite method of making coffee, and that is our giant insulated French press made by Planetary Design. We chose this because one, it's not glass, and yes, I've broken a glass French press before. Two, it's insulated, so it will keep our coffee hot for hours if we ever took that long to drink it. And finally, it's 48 ounces, which is plenty for Kendrick and I. It also comes in a smaller size though, if you're not the fanatics that we are. Also made by Planetary Design is these great airtight storage containers that we use to keep our beans in. The great thing about these is that within the unit, there is also this airtight compression lid. And so when you put the lid on, it pushes all of the air out and keeps your beans totally fresh. Now you might notice these are also whole beans, which means we have to grind it. And as I said before, we don't like anything electric. So we found ourselves a hand crank coffee grinder. Now, if you search for these on Amazon, you will find a ton. But the one thing you'll notice is that most of them seem to be rather bulky and huge. So when I chose mine, I chose the smallest, most compact version for easy storage possible. And that brings us to drinkware. And remember guys, nothing breakable. That means no glass and no ceramic. And trust me, I have been lured into some very adorable little ceramic mugs before, of which lasted about a month before I broke them. And after much searching, I finally found my perfect coffee mug. Now, I found these at REI, and I bought two of them. The one downside is they were a little expensive. They're about 25 bucks each, but they are aluminum and they are double walled. So they will keep your coffee hot like forever. There's two of them and I really like them because they say, enjoy the journey, leave nothing behind. And then on the mornings where we're gonna be drinking coffee outside, walking around a campground, whatever we're gonna do, uh, we also have insulated mugs that have lids on them. Those work really great and keep it just a little bit warmer for those chilly days. And finally, every one of our driving days, we are accompanied by our Stanley thermoses. We each have one. They are exactly the same, except that I had one of my friends paint my name and the mountains on mine. So they're personalized and they keep our coffee hot forever. It's got a little button here on the top. You just push down, no flip top lid. They're the best. Now, as most of you know, we like to drink more than just coffee. And once again, no glass. So we always have our two 
plastic wine glasses. These are just a very basic run-of-the-mill plastic wine glass, but I have seen some with removable stems that will store inside the cup. So that's kind of cool if you want to be a little more compact. And last but not least, we also have our plastic bourbon glasses. This is the perfect size, perfect shape when you want just a neat pour of whiskey. Now a couple of random items that I would not live without would be um, first my cutting mats. These are small thin flexible cutting boards. When we were in Rocky the 320 we used to just use the wood one that covered the sink but over time it would warp and flex and it was really hard to clean but these are small lightweight flexible so they're easy to clean in the sink and I can stack them up and store them right over the cabinet. Now this might seem super simple and silly, but my paper towel holder. I'm always trying to clean things and I hate when things are just cluttered around like a roll of paper towels just sitting on a counter. And you'll notice that the wood right above the sink is actually a nice solid wood that you can screw into. So I got a lightweight paper towel holder that I just simply screwed the paper towel holder onto. It doesn't come loose and it's really convenient. Also of note is my favorite kind of paper towel. These are Viva cloth-like paper towels. And if you notice, they do not come unspooled. So I don't have to put anything on here um, when we travel. And when I need a paper towel, they're nice and strong. I know, super silly, but it's the small things in life, right? For all of my cleaning stuff, I found just a really simple plastic container and I used the 3M Velcro to sticky it to this metal piece back here. So I never have to move it when we drive. This stuff does not come loose at all. I put soap, a sponge, and I put some metal cups in here because we like to not waste cups. Then super simple drying rack, but it's really nice because when you're not cooking, when you're cleaning and you wanna just have all your dishes here, it fits perfect between the sink and stove. And then of course, when you're cooking and you don't wanna get it dirty, it can also fit right up there with the cutting boards. And last but not least, I also featured in one of my previous videos, these really great dish rail hooks that I found. They're not actually made for kitchen towels. They're actually drawer poles that I found at Walmart. I didn't have the proper link before, but I'll have the link this time. They're at Walmart and they're the Threshold brand. I like them because they have a really, really low profile. They don't stick out very far and they're super easy to use and hang towels from. Hopefully you found a few of these items useful and you might want to integrate them into your own trailer kitchen. If so, in the blog, I will put links to every one of these items, which you can find on my Amazon store, which also helps support us on the road. So here's to happy cooking in your tiny trailer. Love and light. Yeah, I realized I had nothing to drink and this was the first thing I pulled out of the fridge. So, cheers. <laughs>